Those speakers sound really good, probably honestly the best I've heard. And yes guys, this is the ROG Phone 6 Pro and this is an awesome device right here. Honestly, I have to say, I've been truly impressed using this device because of a multitude of factors. Now, we know this is the very first Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 device, which means there's better performance across the board. But let's take a look at the device first with the hardware. This sports a 6.78 inch Super AMOLED display. It's a lovely looking display. But we're here for gaming, so what does this display actually bring to the table? It brings in 165 hertz, which is cool. We've seen other devices like that. 720 hertz touch sampling with a response time of less than 23 milliseconds. This thing is truly impressive and it's very, very responsive, dare I say, right? Which is great. Now, when we flip over to the back, we have just more features built in. Now, we've got a 50 megapixel camera uh, with a main sensor as well as a 30 megapixel ultra wide, which we'll see some photos for. And then we've got all the stuff in the back here. We've got this light up area here that says Dare to Play, which you can customize in the game Genie. And you've got this LCD display here, which has a bunch of customizations. On the left-hand side of your device, you have a USB port because that allows you to charge uh, while you're gaming. And of course, you have another port at the very bottom and a headphone jack. As again, those speakers sounded great, especially when you get into that this nitty gritty of gaming. Now, let's talk about that nitty gritty. Now, this device, as I mentioned, comes with the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1, which pro provides up to 10% more performance boost. And looking at the Geekbench scores, it looks like, yeah, it's, it's, it does give an in increased amount of scores, but we care about what that does for our gaming experience and how does that bring everything to the table. We also have 18 gigabytes of RAM, right? Here are five RAM, which is insane, which means we can do more with this device. 512 uh, gigabytes of storage um, on this device and it has a 6,000 milliamp battery, yes, which charges with a 65 watt charger. And ASUS says it should take about 42 minutes to fully charge the devices. Now the batteries are split into two, the two 3000 milliamp batteries, but the design here is very intentional. Now think about the two batteries split up, but what's impressive here is that the SOC is right in the middle. Why? That is very important because they do have a graphite plate on top of that, but you can also use a bunch of the accessories to cool this device even more. But before we get to that, Let's get into the meat of the matter. Let's look at the games. Now, there are a ton of games you can actually play on this device that will work really well, all the way from, of course, our very first day game, Call of Duty Mobile. This runs really well on the device. It's very smooth. We get a solid 60 frames per second on both multiplayer and, of course, uh, Battle Royale, which I actually played for about, 20 minutes when my game was pretty cool, but a solid smooth 60 frames per second. I know you guys are one, probably want higher frames, it can. We just need to get an update for that to happen. Then we move over to, of course, uh, PUBG Mobile, where we ran it on both settings, Smooth Extreme, Ultra HD, Ultra. Now, at uh, Smooth Extreme, 60 frames per second was just locked on, smooth, and our temperatures was also really nice as well. Now, you notice there's an inbuilt meter there that gives you, of course, all your game stats if you want to, as well as also us using our, of course, game bench here. And of course, Ultra HD, Ultra, we got 40 frames per second. Now let's move this to Apex Legends Mobile. Now this is one where we played on a couple of settings. At the very uh, best settings for FPS, we got a locked 60 frames per second, which of course the graphics were dialed down a bit. But when, when, we, when we went with the highest graphical settings, we got 40 frames per second. That is just standard with Apex right now, but it played really well and very smooth. I was able to use a lot of the touch controls as well as also the trigger buttons, which are on top, which are super sensitive. And I'll get to some of that customization for you. Now, finally, of course, we have uh, Genshin Impact, a super well unoptimized game, which ran at 57 frames per second. I know I'm playing this before any updates or optimization, but it was good to see that this was able to run almost close to 60. I did play for about an hour and it was absolutely fine with this system. Now, let's talk about those accessories and temperatures because this is where you guys are gonna be asking me. Now, without the, um, the 
active cooler, playing a game like Genshin Impact, I got up to 47 degrees Celsius or about 116 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's where the temperatures were for that. Now, when I actually use the cooler itself, this is the Aero 3 cooler and this bad boy is truly unique because it's got four customized buttons which are totally remappable through the Game Genie software itself. Um, I was able to get temperatures down to about thir between 36 to 38 degrees Celsius and this connects via that USB port uh, on the side so it allows you to basically connect and play and boy that really did a great job there and I like the fact that because the CPU is centered it allows for just better cooling overall. Now I did mention there's a ton of accessories for this device. Now there's also a ton of functionality built in and that's with the Game Genie software and something you can quickly access here. And what you see here, you've got a couple of modes. You can go to X mode, which is what I use to do all the gaming and gameplay. And you can change the different modes for better battery performance all the way through. But you also have your ROG vision, which is this bar at the back here. You can customize it for a couple of things. When you're about to play a game, it says, get ready to game. But when you're charging your device, it actually has a progress meter and will show you the percentage of where your battery is. You also have your system lighting where it says dare to play. As you can see there, it is totally lit up and um, that is something that you can actually customize as well. Then the Aero Cooler itself, this is where you can go in and do a lot of stuff with that. You can see your temperatures, but the Game Genie itself, while you're actually playing a game, simply swipe from either of the air trigger corners, left or right down, and boom, that gives you your Game Genie. This is where you can do so much more. You can basically, it turns off all your notifications. You can go in and customize those air triggers, and that's very key. I have different customized air triggers for different games, Call of Duty. I have air triggers just uh, customized for the air triggers right here. I do have air triggers customized for the uh, cooler, and I also have it for the ROG Kunai uh, 3 gamepad here, which we'll get to when we talk about our game streaming services. It is so customizable. You can customize it for ultrasonic buttons here. You can customize it for your cooler buttons. And you also have the ability to look at, of course, your game stats while you are playing. Again, so much functionality built into this. That is very, very impressive. Now, the Kunai controller I really do like. I did have some issues connecting via Bluetooth, but I did like it because it comes in a couple of facets. You do have the controller here, you do have the case shell for the device, and then you kind of have a controller dock that allows you to have it grippable, or I call it like the grip dock. And what I like about it is that playing games like you know on Xbox Game Pass or Stadia, I was able to just connect directly and use, giving me a full ecosystem. Now, those ex these accessories are extra. They're not part of it because you have to buy the cooler and of course the controller. But the fact that they're giving you a full ecosystem, especially for the game in mind, really says a lot. And playing game streaming services was just a joy and it was pretty smooth to actually see that work pretty well. As I mentioned, there's a 50 megapixel camera in the rear, as well as also the 13 ultra wide, and then we have a front facing shooter at 12 megapixels. I'm gonna just give you some camera samples, and I think they've actually done a better job improving the camera. It's still not up to flagship levels, but seeing this, I think you guys would be at least a bit more impressed with what they had to offer. Okay, so <laughs> the camera's pretty good. I had to do some gaming in between there, but looking at what Asus has brought to the table here, Year in year, I think they've done a really good, good job at being the number one gaming smartphone that anyone wants to look at because they have a full ecosystem. Um, they allow you to add more to the device and they bring in features with their software to take it to the next level. These accessories in this device really does a good job and I really like what it, it brings. The camera is actually pretty good. 
Um, it's not, of course, up to say flagship Samsung or Apple quality, but I think you're getting a really good camera this time around. Now, in total, this device just brings a whole lot to the table. I'm actually playing while I'm talking to you guys here because I've really enjoyed the way this actually adds so much more with the cooler, the uh, ultrasonic triggers, which are so responsive, as well as also the fact that I can get my full gaming experience here without actually um, connecting to a console, whether it's a console experience or of course a mobile experience altogether. And I think this is what a lot of people are looking at. So if you guys have any questions or any comments about the ROG Phone 6 um, Pro, let me know. In terms of pricing, they are right there on screen, you've seen them. Um, and this is a flagship tier device in terms of mobile gaming. So this is Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy your entertainment.